In chapter one, are you getting um, acquainted or reacquainted with Microsoft Word? This is 2007. Um, just like to point out uh, some things that are different from earlier versions of Word. Um, number one, when you look at the typeface up here, it's Calibri and the point size is 11. Also, there's a style up here and it's showing uh, normal. What we typically are used to seeing in a document is no, the no spacing style. And I'm going to click in this document and go Control A. Control A will select everything in the entire document. I'm going to change it to no spacing. Now as, even as I just point to it, do you see how it looks different? Uh, the lines look closer together and uh, the paragraphs have no separation. Um, I'm going to choose this because this is what we're used to seeing is um, no points before and after the lines in a paragraph. Um, and then we're going to make it look like what we normally do. So if you open an existing document from your CD for this class, make sure that you select it all and go into no spacing and choose that one. Okay, I'm going to go to the end of every paragraph and I'm just going to type, hit the enter key to make the spacing correct. Now this is what you call a sans serif font. If I take the zoom up here a bit, notice that the letters don't have any little tails at the end of them. They're just uh, kind of little stick figures. This is more difficult to read um, because there aren't any little lines leading us from one letter to the next. I'm going to go Control A again, which will select the document. I'm going to go to Calibri up here. I'm going to choose either Cambria or Times New Roman. Now I'm on Cambria right now. Can you see how, uh, where was that before? Uh, if you look down to where Cell is at in Cambria, it's got little t feet on the L's. If I'm in Calibri, those little feet go away. So if you choose Cambria, that's fine, either that or Times New Roman, and then also take it up to 12. So this is something I'd like you to do on all your documents, basically, is change them to Cambria or Times New Roman and make them 12 point, unless it calls for specific other changes. So I'm going to save this now. Now as I save this document, um, and as you save your documents from class, you can go to File, Save As, um, and you can tell it you want it to be a Word document. If you do that, it's going to have an extension DOCX. If you did 97 through 2003, it would just be .doc. If you are sending your um, Word documents to people with a lower version of Word, then um, you might want to go down and save it as a Word 97 2003 document in, so that they can open it. Uh, if you don't have that problem, you can just click on Word Document. And I'm going to tell it to save to the desktop. And I'm going to call it uh, Chapter 1 uh, Font and Style. And click Save. And I'm going to stop this recording.